three hours? In the diagram below of circle O, chord AB is parallel to chord GH. Chord CD intersects AB at E and GH at F. Well, they could have just put in the parallel symbols for us, and it's pretty obvious that chord CD intersects AB at E and at F. Well, AG is going to be congruent to BH. And why do we know that? It's because if you have parallel lines, then the arcs that are in between are going to be equal. Now, it looks like that's certainly going to be the case, and that's just your answer, but if you're interested in the proof, all you do is you draw a circle, you draw two parallel chords, and then you do something a little tricky, you draw in a dotted line going from this point to that point, and then you realize you actually have alternate interior angles between this one and that one. So if that's true, then that means that those angles are equal. And then you know that the arcs that those angles are cutting off, cutting off that arc, and then also we're cutting off an arc over here. that those arcs have to be equal. That's uh, another theorem we have. And in fact, one way to prove it, if you know something about inscribed angles, is to say if this is theta, then the cutoff arc, or the intercepted arc, is 2 theta. So same thing would happen over there. So they both come out to the same measure of 2 theta, so they must be equal to each other.